Matt and Aubrey's love isn't just something that you see. I used to think that the word uh, the aura was a made up word used by people that wanted to sound deep, uh, that didn't know how to be deep. But then when I started being around Matt and Aubrey a whole bunch, um, I just saw that they had not only saw, but I felt the love that they have for each other. They, they emit joy every time that they're around one another. And it's just so special and so unique and you just don't see that with everybody. And I appreciate you two for bringing joy into everyone's lives. You guys are magnificent people, to say the least. Aubrey, you make Matt happier than I've ever seen him. Happier than even I could make him. And I know by the way you act around him and the things that you've said, how you feel about him too. I wish you two nothing but happiness. You are truly perfect for each other. Matt is a kind and gentle soul. I love you, Matt. He is unassuming and warm. And no matter what obstacles are in his way, his response has always been, and I mean always, we will work it out. He says that to me, we will work it out. So I'm happy to welcome that to our family. A few days ago, I uh, had lunch with Matthew and I asked him what he thought that was most special to call Aubrey his wife. He said to me exactly what I thought of Aubrey and that is this, Aubrey possesses a charm only found in a, a real world princess, a magic that is uh, inherent and enchanting. It's deliberate, it's delightful. Aubrey is kind soul and gentle spirit. Her heart is beyond a poet's heart. It is the warmest heart I've ever known. Now, I knew that Aubrey and Matt belonged together because when she met him, that light inside of her started to shine even brighter. They bring such love and support to each other's lives that I know no matter what hardships they might face, they're in it together. Matt. You are one of the best people that I know. You've truly always deserved the best. And I can't tell you how happy I am for you and how proud I am of you that you're here today with someone as wonderful as Aubrey. Aubrey, you are beautiful and awesome and I am happy that I've got to know you. And I thank you so much for giving him everything that he needs. And I know that you're going to help him grow for the rest of his life and I just think that that's great. <laughs> I don't play that to you. Like the princess. That's beautiful. Maddie. <laughs> you are such an extraordinary person. Knowing you, growing with you, and learning from you has just been such an amazing honor. It was so easy to fall in love with your fierce loyalty and most tender heart. I am so lucky to be marrying you. Waffle. Yeah. The instant we <laughs> met, my life changed forever. Everything I thought I knew about myself, everything I thought I knew about my future, and everything I thought I knew about love ceased to matter. And in that moment, the only thing I knew was that you were my soulmate. Growing up and still now, I've had an affinity to fairy tales. The story of compassion, empathy, and hope helped me picture the partner I wanted to be with. I knew from the first second of our relationship, the first message of looking for my yellow umbrella, and the first time I saw you, we were kindred spirits meant to be. Our story, our ever-growing life, comes to today where I feel completely fulfilled.
despite losses and turmoil, you've always been loyal and calming to me. You make me feel safe, but fearless in the best way. When planning this wedding, it was a struggle for me because I'd never envisioned the fairy tale weddings I'd read about. I just saw you, the man of my heart, my truest friend that I've ever had. You're the most pure-hearted man, my soulmate, and I will never stop telling you how much I love you. From this day and all of our days to come, I vow to love and support you unconditionally. I vow to kiss you goodnight and admit when I'm wrong. I vow to be better at deciding about what I want to eat for dinner. <laughs> And I vow to be faithful, patient, and understanding, and above all, respect you. In the time you and, I, you and I have spent together, I've had the privilege to stand by your side through tremendous high points and devastating low points. In these moments, and all the moments in between, I've always admired your unbelievable strength, your unmatched kindness, and your impossible beauty. Now, I'm standing by your side, knowing how privileged I truly am to be yours, now and for eternity. Without a doubt, you are my Lebenslager Schlichelslots, my lifelong treasure of destiny. And baby, you're so important and so loved. You will always be the rest of my Rachel, my lobster, my Bob to my Linda, my yellow umbrella, my soulmate, king of my heart, the father of our future children, and the love of my life. You are the Lily to my Marshall, the Ellie to my Carl, the Letty to my Dom, and most importantly, you're my lobster. I couldn't be more excited to spend the rest of my life by your side, no matter what adventures the world has in store for us. For the rest of our lives and beyond, I vow to never leave your side. I vow to never lose sight of what is important and do my best to not sweat the small stuff. I vow to seize every day as an opportunity to express my love for you. And lastly, I vow to love you with the ever-growing intensity that has been within me since the moment that you and I met. I love you. By the power invested in me, by the great state of Ohio, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride, sir. It is my honor, my pleasure, the best thing ever to announce to you Mr. and Mrs. Matt and Aubrey Savage. Despite a few hiccups along the way, our sisterhood is finally stronger than ever. Our bond is dotted with sister and friend relationships from books, TV, movies, musicals, you name it. She's the Galinda to my Elphaba, the Bianca to my cat, the Jillian to my Sally, and the Anna to my Elsa. We now have a whole childhood full of inside jokes to share, and Aubrey's sharp memory is sure to keep them around for a long time, unlike mine. <laughs> I've had the joy of watching Aubrey grow up, become who she is, figure out what she wants out of life, all that. Her charisma, empathy, and warmth make her a beautiful person inside and out and bring joy to everyone she meets. and you knew and you continue to say it over and over and 
Matt's a, a really great guy. I'm so thankful t- for all the friendships that I have forged through your union as well. I mean, great group of people we've got here. So super thankful for that. But um, anyway, I guess to close out one of my favorite quotes, which is, at last love wins. And it's winning tonight. So, yay.